Registered Phenomena Code 323 Object Class Alpha Orange Hazard Types Sentient Transmutation Destabilization Ideological Mind Control Mind Regression Mechanical Containment Protocols RPC-323 is to be contained in Site-077 Memetic Anomaly Storage Wing. No individuals are to interact with RPC-323 for an extensive period of time without the approval of two Level 3 or higher personnel. RPC-323A instances are to be terminated from an outside source if the memetic effects from RPC-323 escalate to a dangerous level. Additionally, RPC-323-A instances can be exposed on RPC-323 for hours at a time, and terminated when the RPC-323-A instance has become oblivious to its surroundings. RPC-323 is a Super Nintendo Entertainment System device with multiple attachments, dubbed the SNES Test Station. Testing shows that any cartridge that fits an RPC-323 slot compartment will function properly, regardless of the variant, or the original operating system it was intended for. Otherwise, if no cartridge is present when RPC-323 is activated, a display labeled Test Station with the Nintendo logo substituted with the text, Press Reset to Start, will appear. RPC-323 causes individuals to undergo a mimetic effect if they are exposed to RPC-323 in its active state for a prolonged period of time. Individuals will become overly attached to RPC-323 and will not require sustenance. The individual cannot die of natural causes when interacting with RPC-323, but overall body structure will deteriorate over time. At this point, the individual becomes an instance of RPC-323-A, and the mimetic effect will only conclude if the subject is terminated by external force. Attempting to relocate RPC-323-A subjects away from RPC-323 will trigger an overwhelmingly negative reaction, and RPC-323-A will attempt to come back into contact with RPC-323 by any means necessary. RPC-323-1 is a board labeled NES Test Station, and RPC-323-2 is a board labeled Super NES Counter Tester. RPC-323-1 is composed of one knob, ten metallic buttons, and three LED buttons. When RPC-323-1's knob is used, a white cursor will appear on the screen, similar to that of a personal computer. The cursor's location corresponds to the direction the knob is being turned at. It should be noted that the technology that RPC-323 utilizes would not be able to support cursor movement. However, RPC-323-1 seems to ignore this fact, and the process functions properly regardless. The purpose for the rest of the metallic and LED buttons are currently unknown, and they do not physically affect RPC-323. RPC-323-2 provides similar function to RPC-323-1, aside from the fact RPC-323-2 possesses a component used to insert cartridges into the system. Any cartridge inserted into RPC-323-2 functions properly, regardless of the system it was initially intended for. RPC-323 has shown the ability to completely alter basic technological rules and has produced audio quality, graphics, and frame rates at a much higher value than the operating system would normally allow. Additionally, RPC-323 has the ability to give in-game personas to gain sentience, and are able to communicate with audio quality higher than the system will allow. These sentient personas are created by all affected cartridges that have been inserted into RPC-323. Any cartridge inserted into RPC-323 will cause the in-game personas to gain these sapient abilities, and these abilities will cease when the cartridge is placed in another system 
that supports the cartridge type. Discovery RPC-323 was recovered from the family's home in 1980. RPC-323 was purchased by the family, not knowing its anomalous effects. No family members had come into contact with RPC-323 long enough to trigger the memetic effects. The authorities' attention was brought to RPC-323 when 19-year-old had become an instance of RPC-323-A and murdered his parents, was put into custody by the local police force shortly after. MST Romeo 7, who posed as an employee from the unidentified electronic shop, supplied a non-anomalous replacement device under the guise that RPC-323 was a defective copy of the system. Addendum 323 Alpha When the cartridge for the video game was inserted into RPC-323, subject CSD had reported the game was unstable, and the characters inside had displayed signs of sentience. Subject CSD reports that throughout levels, the character had attempted to communicate with the subject about its reason for imprisonment. Below is a transcript of the experiment. Experiment Log 323 Alpha Begin Log CSD You really want me to play a video game? So much for your highly classified operations. Dr. Kristoff Subject CSD Cooperate We are not messing around. Jesus, chill man, chill. I'll play your game for you. Please enter RPC-323 storage room for experimentation. You mean the computer? Yes, the computer. Oh man, I remember now. I used to have one of these… CSD? You're pushing your limits. Do not make any more unnecessary comments. Well, I see the computer. There's a lot of buttons on here. Wait. What'd I just do? You activated RPC-323. You should have been provided with one copy of the cartridge for… Correct? Oh yeah, that. So uh, do I just put it in the slot, or… Please insert the cartridge into the slot. It's booting up. Seems to be working. You have been provided a controller. Please progress through the video game. Thirty-three minutes later. Subject CSD reaches the fourth stage in the game. Man, a few words I see. Well, has anything unusual happened yet? I don't know if they programmed this, but asked me some questions. His voice was crystal clear. Considering how old this thing looks, I don't think that's natural. Excuse me? Is the little guy I'm playing as right now? He was asking me questions. Like he was directly talking to me. Dr. Kristoff jots down notes. As soon as he activated that old speaker, he just stopped. Alright, well, we'll see it on the cameras anyways. Proceed forward. 27 minutes pass. CSD does not announce anything noteworthy, and seems to be becoming progressively more unresponsive. Subject CSD has anything else occurred? No response from CSD is heard. Subject CSD? Huh? Oh. Oh yeah. Started talking again. We've been sharing some details of our lives. Apparently he was some sort of technician. Interesting. 49 minutes pass. Zero dialogue from CSD is heard. Dr. Kristoff, whispering to Dr. Carter. I think the memetics are getting to him. Dr. Carter. We better pull him out of there before he gets aggressive. Dr. Kristoff, I'll call in security. Two security personnel arrive at the storage wing. An attempt to relocate subject CSD is made. Who is this? Can't you see we're discussing something important here? No. No, don't take the controller away. Hey, that's mine! CSD becomes aggro. I'm tired of this shit. Give me the controller back now! Subject CSD 
attacked security personnel member in a fit of rage. Subject CSD terminated. End log. Addendum 323 Beta 24 hours after the initial experiment, the video footage captured during the unmonitored period where Subject CSD and supposedly communicated was recovered. Transcribed below. Video Log 323 Beta Begin Log CSD Highly classified. What a joke. I mean, at least I get to sit around with you, bud. You bet, buddy. Say, we're reaching the last area of this world. Let's take down this fool, shall we? Hell yeah! Damn, nice work, bud. You destroyed the boss monster. Couldn't do it without your help, bud. Next world. Move it. Shit. Sorry. You okay? You kidding? A measly hit from a… Of course I'm fine. This is my game, after all. Oh yeah. Forgot you could just change anything you want. I've killed those enemies millions of times. I don't understand why those kids love massacres so much. They don't care. They only care about being occupied. Wait. That reminds me. Remember the time some kid murdered a couple of folks because of me? Wait. Murdered? Yeah, yeah. Some kid went nuts and murdered his parents. All over a fucking game. Murder is the reason I'm in this place, bud. Congratulations to you, I guess. Hey, do you know about this place? They call you a RCP or something around here. How dare they? They shouldn't have the right to classify me as such. Well, this is some facility of some sort. We're underground, I think. The next level's underground. What do you know? Well, they call me CSD… or CSD something something over here. I don't know why they just take all these random numbers and mash them up to describe people. Weird. Wait, CSD… They call me RCP… 2, right? We got the same numbers then. I think that's how this stuff works. They'll classify me with your number so they know where they're going to put me next. Nice one, bud. You'll be cheating the system in no time. End log.